Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an upload. After spending 7 weeks in Japan, I finally left for my next country called China. I flew into Hong Kong and two things became very clear to me. First, my microphone sometimes just wasn't functioning. And secondly, I didn't realize this, but I had some huge dust particle inside my lens. That being said, it didn't stop me of creating these videos. So here you have all these buildings, beautiful building, everything is new. <laughs> Where my hostel is, it's just everything is rugged, old school. You feel like it's gonna fall apart everywhere. <laughs> it's a good contrast. I think that makes Hong Kong very unique. It's, you have that contrast between very new and very, very old and rugged. Kinda like it, I dig it. This is the boat that I wanna take that will bring me to the other side. Taking the ferry is a very cool way to see Hong Kong and it only costs you three dollars. Karaoke in the street because why not, right? <laughs> Welcome to Hong Kong. I was heading to see the forever blooming Bawinya sculpture. This sculpture was a gift from the Republic of China to mark the return of the Hong Kongese territory back to the motherland China. Before 1997, Hong Kong was part of Brittany and after more than 100 years, it went back to China. Now the problem is, China is a communist country and Hong Kong was living a democracy and especially 2019 there were a lot of demonstrations. And I really hope for Hong Kong that their way of living will stay the same. The next day I went to a very interesting place. So I just got out of the metro and the place is Quarry Bay. And the one thing that I really wanted to see that I've seen on Instagram and all these platforms is Montaigne Mansion and it's right here. Now listen to this, there are approximately 30,000 buildings aged 50 years or above and the number is set to multiply in the next 3 years. Hong Kong is a very weird mutant. Alright, this is it, um, I found the spot, it's quite weird to find it, I have to go up the stairs and oh boy I'm excited to see it. This is crazy guys. <laughs> Alright, I got what I wanted, a photo there, but it's actually, I don't know, like, you can't really take photos because it's actually private, which makes sense, but... Makes sense, but I still took a picture. One night, I visited one of many street markets in Hong Kong. And after that, I went to see the Hong Kong light show that was happening every day at the same time. is on? Nope. <laughs> Here I was explaining that I was going to take the metro to Choi Hong Estate, a very famous Instagram spot that I wanted to visit. Alright, I found the spot and now I just need to get to the basketball court. That's a very famous spot uh, that I saw the photo of. 
Unfortunately, the weather is cloudy, so I wished I wished it would be sunny because um, the color of this place are very powerful. So if it's sunny, they would pop more. So I guess I have to work with that. Choi Hong Estate is a private residence, and it really gives you an insight on how Hong Kongese people live. Well, now it started raining, but. I could be wrong, maybe it's somewhere else. Like, this place is massive, so maybe just the, the Google Maps point that I put was not the one that I was looking for, so. Okay guys, update, I found the spot. I was walking back to the metro, and I saw that parking lot, it looks big. I was like, huh, wonder what's up. And here's the basketball court, so. Cool, I can take some photos here, take some videos, and my gosh, it's just impressive. <laughs> you know that you're on the right spot to see all the people taking photos. Here, over there. It's just so impressive. <sighs> oh gosh, a lot of rain. But uh, it's a beautiful place. There are actually some Germans here shooting a commercial uh, for, I don't know, I didn't ask really for what. Just gonna get some, you know, some shots for them, some photos. So I got my 50 millimeter on my GH5. Yeah, just hang out, take some photos. It looks so interesting. Like they have a whole team here, like focus puller, uh, designer, everything. It's really, really cool, so. Okay, last exploring day here in Hong Kong. All right. What's going on, guys? What an incredible day. First time in my life. <laughs> this, wait, wait, this is, this is LOD. This is LOD, by the way. I didn't bring my SD card with me. <laughs> so I can't use my uh, camera. So this video is, being, is gonna be shot on my iPhone. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to the big Buddha, guys. Big Buddha. There is a big Buddha here in Hong Kong, and this happens when you're traveling and you're like exhausted all the time. <laughs> but we're gonna bring you there, and so let's go. <laughs> Actually, it's very cool that I don't have my camera because it's gonna be a real test. Can you vlog with a phone? Can you create a story that is interesting? Do you really need a camera? Let's find out. Let's take some photos, some videos, and you can decide at the end. So right now we're going to the cable car to go up to the Big Buddha, and it's about 30 minutes. We're going over there. That's the cable car. Just bought a ticket from a seller. Uh, it was a little bit cheaper, so we don't know if it's going to work. Uh, it was a little, a little bit shady as well. It's a little bit shady, but... And uh... now he's buying the ticket for us. Yeah, is it? Is already... <laughs> no, no, we have to wait. Suspense. Thank you. Yes. Worked. <laughs> Let's go. Let's try some beer roll with this iPhone. Let's try some, some slow motion going on. had some lunch and now we're walking towards the big Buddha you can tell it's very touristy here that's basically only tourist here and everything is expensive <laughs> If 
five, he's doing the high five. Go for the high five. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the top. He's a bit good. What's up? High five. Hey, I'm doing the high five. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was a really cool day. Just for the cable car, it was already worth it for me to, to go up. We have an amazing view. And of course, for me, it's also nice because you're in Hong Kong, it's very, very strong uh, as a city. It's always like people everywhere, smelly, and being able to be out of the city was a, was a nice, nice day. What about you? Yeah, I think guys, also the Buddha is really worth it, especially if you've never been to Asia. Like, I just, I just came from Thailand, so for me, it was just another Buddha. Yeah. You get that, yeah. But that's it for today's video and all shot on the iPhone. Also to show you that you can film your your travels only using a camera on your phone. So keep following Davide guys, he's yeah. a cool guy. It was fun spending time with him. Oh it was cool of you. Elodie, we just met today, so she's my uh, tr my uh, travel uh, buddy for the day. <laughs> See you guys, bye bye. See you. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, episode 24. I feel like it was a bit of an in-between episode. By the way, this is present David <laughs> talking to you. You just saw past David. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna stop with that. Anyway, I'm really excited to share with you guys episode 25 and also the next, I think it's gonna be three of them the China Mainland series and here is the trailer and by the way how good is this microphone what's up what are you doing I should stop talking okay bye <laughs> 25 days around China <laughs>